In the dead of night, on the outskirts of a small, forgotten town, stood a lonely bus stop. Locals whispered about the ghostly figure that appeared only after midnight, a woman whose life had tragically ended at that very spot years ago. It was a foggy evening when Lily, a teenager returning from a late-night study session, found herself waiting alone at the bus stop. The air was thick with an eerie silence, broken only by the distant hoot of an owl. A chill ran down her spine as the clock struck midnight. Suddenly, the temperature dropped. Lily shivered, pulling her jacket tighter. She felt a presence behind her and slowly turned around. There, shrouded in mist, stood a woman in a tattered white dress, her eyes hollow and lifeless. Lily's heart raced as the ghostly figure floated closer, her lips moving without sound. Legends spoke of the woman's tragic death, struck by a speeding car while waiting for the bus. Her spirit, restless and vengeful, haunted the stop, seeking justice. Paralyzed with fear, Lily watched as the apparition reached out, her cold fingers brushing against Lily's cheek. A whisper echoed in Lily's mind. Help me find peace. Just as abruptly as she appeared, the ghost vanished, leaving Lily breathless and trembling. The bus arrived moments later, its headlights piercing the darkness. Lily boarded quickly, glancing back to see the fog lifting, the night returning to its stillness. She knew she would never forget the haunted plea, forever etched in her memory, a chilling reminder of the restless spirit at the lonely bus stop. I made this cool video you just watched using some amazing free AI tools, and I'll walk you through everything step by step. By the end, you'll know exactly how to make your own videos. Whether you want to do shorts or longer videos that tell a whole story, and the best part, once you learn how to create these videos, you can even make money from them. If we look at these two channels, we can see that they have millions of views. For example, this channel with only 22 videos similar to the one we are going to create has 14,000 subscribers and millions of views. The other channel has 62,000 subscribers and 18 million views. And trust me, our video will be much better. First, we will start by creating the script, which is the basis for our video. In this tutorial, we will use chat GPT because it gives great results if you set the right prompt. It will also be useful for prompting us for image generation later. Here, I asked it to write a short, spooky script about 200 words for teenage readers. The story should be about a bus stop located on the outskirts of a small town haunted by a ghostly figure who only appears during the dead of night. It is the ghost of a woman who was killed at that very spot years ago. And finally, I told him to make the story suspenseful and atmospheric. It created the story very quickly and it's really great. Next, I will ask it to create a list of image prompts and that these prompts will be used with a text to image AI generator to generate visuals. I gave him pointers on what the prompt should include, such as the atmosphere, important details or actions. Finally, I told it to keep the prompts between one to two sentences and gave it two samples of what the prompts should look like. Just to mention that these prompts will be in the description and you are free to use them or modify them to your liking if you want. As you can see, ChatGPT did a great job and gave me prompts to generate images. Now we move on to the next phase, the visual generation phase. We will use the free tool Leonardo AI. I like to use this tool because it offers one of the best text to image results and their free plan is very generous because we can use up to 150 credits per day. Just click on image creation Paste your prompt that ChatGPT gave you, set it to the Leonardo Diffusion XL model, set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9, and click Generate. In seconds, we have our results, and they are pretty cool. We will just download our images and get the second prompt from ChatGPT and just keep copying and pasting, repeat the process, and download your images. All our images have been created. Leonardo did a pretty good job. Let's move over to the next step. 
The next step is to go over to ChatGPT and copy our script. To get our voiceover, we will use my favorite text to audio tool, 11 Labs, as it offers excellent voiceovers. Just choose the voice you want to use from the voice library, then paste your script and download your voiceover. Now, the next step is to animate our images by giving them motion. We will use this new tool, Kling AI. Kling offers 66 free credits per day, which is equivalent to generating six free images to videos daily. You can create more accounts and you will be able to make more images to video generation. Just click here. Sign up with your email and you'll land on this interface. Click on AI videos and it will bring you here. Go to image to video and drag your image here. You can write a prompt specifying what motion you want your image to have, but I'll leave it blank and click generate. Just keep importing. Our results have been generated and they look very good. Now download the results and let's move on to the final step of our short film production. Please consider liking the video to help the algorithm push it to more viewers. You can also subscribe to be notified whenever I release my free courses. The final step is editing. We will use CapCut as our editing software. Just keep importing your new visuals into your CapCut dashboard. CapCut offers the best free version of editing software with a huge variety of features, transitions, animations, and sound effects. After importing all of your materials, import your 11 Labs voiceover to the timeline. Listen to what your voiceover is saying and start uploading your video clips to the timeline. Line up the clips according to the script to match what the voiceover is saying and what is seen on the screen. For some videos, you will need to adjust the speed to match the script. You can do this by clicking on the video, going to the right corner, and clicking speed. Here, you can adjust whether you want the video to be faster or slower. After arranging all the videos, it's time to add sound effects. Sound effects give the video liveliness and make the story enthralling for the viewer. We will add sound effects throughout the video to match each scene. For example, here I wanted to have something scary, mysterious, and windy in the background. I searched for wind, then distant thunder, bus engine, owl hooting, and anything that I thought would match my scenes. For every audio or sound effect, be sure to reduce the sound and set it to minus 8 to 15 decibels. And let me not forget to mention that all sound effects, video effects, and music will be listed in the description in written form, so you can search and use them in CapCut. After importing all of your visuals and sound effects, it's time to add transitions. For this video, I will use black fade, pull in, black smoke, and blink. For the last clip, I will add an animation called Fade Out to make the screen go black, signifying the end of the video.
after the transition is completed, I will add some video effects. I will add fog, film effect, light flicker, rain, and shake. I will spread these effects around the clips where I think they need to be inserted. Finally, I will go back and add a rain sound effect to match the visual effect I added. Now let's add captions. CapCut has an auto caption feature built in, so we will just use that. Our captions have been generated. Go to templates, look at the ones that suit you, and choose one. Now let's take a look at the video we created together. In the dead of night, on the outskirts of a small forgotten town, stood a lonely bus stop. Locals whispered about the ghostly figure that appeared only after midnight, a woman whose life had tragically ended at that very spot years ago. It was a foggy evening when Lily, a teenager returning from a late night study session, found herself waiting alone at the bus stop. The air was thick with an eerie silence, broken only by the distant hoot of an owl. A chill ran down her spine as the clock struck midnight. Suddenly, the temperature dropped. Lily shivered, pulling her jacket tighter. She felt a presence behind her and slowly turned around. There, shrouded in mist, stood a woman in a tattered white dress, her eyes hollow and lifeless. Lily's heart raced as the ghostly figure floated closer, her lips moving without sound. Legends spoke of the woman's tragic death, struck by a speeding car while waiting for the bus. Her spirit, restless and vengeful, haunted the stop, seeking justice. Paralyzed with fear, Lily watched as the apparition reached out, her cold fingers brushing against Lily's cheek. A whisper echoed in Lily's mind. Help me find peace. Just as abruptly as she appeared, the ghost vanished, leaving Lily breathless and trembling. The bus arrived moments later, its headlights piercing the darkness. Lily boarded quickly, glancing back to see the fog lifting, the night returning to its stillness. She knew she would never forget the haunted plea, forever etched in her memory, a chilling reminder of the restless spirit at the lonely bus stop.